hi welcome to unit 5 module 1 so in this month in this unit we're going to be talking about enterprise systems supply chain management customer relationship management then also enterprise resource planning tools as well as enterprise applications and then we'll finish it up with uh, decision making processes okay so in this module one we're going to define what is an enterprise system we're going to explain how enterprise systems works basically how the software part of the enterprise system works and then we'll see how it provides value for a business when you talk about enterprise enterprise means a company typically when you say enterprise typically we say these are large corporations with uh, hundreds and thousands of employers and um, they usually have larger budgets than your typical mom and pops businesses or medium-sized businesses an enterprise business traditionally employs solutions which are comprehensive and also it is very difficult and it needs some kind of expertise to implement most of these big companies do not simply use off-the-shelf technology now let's see what is off-the-shelf technology off-the-shelf technology basically means something like um, Microsoft Word or Excel these are off the shelf you just buy it and then start using it okay we're not talking about those but when you talk about enterprise softwares these are huge softwares like payroll software or manufacturing softwares or purchasing softwares and these are when they buy from a company they have to customize it so they just cannot simply buy it and use that for their needs so that is the basic idea of they don't simply use off the shelf so when i say off the shelf that means you take it off the shelf and you start using it but enterprise systems are usually they buy it from a company and then they customize it so it's just a little different than buying off the shelf and using it so and also they need uh, solutions basically with good security and um, since they have thousands and thousands of employees and users they need to make sure that they have the right bandwidth so that everybody can use it okay and also they need to have the support for IT they need to have management by IT and all that stuff also so enterprises softwares are are costly because of all these things that we are talking about they're not cheap at all they're very costly now when we talk about an enterprise we also say sometimes enterprise level so when we say enterprise level that means let's say general motors general motors the enterprise level will be gm north america gm europe gm international operations all the way to they also have a financial company they also have various business units buick cadillac chevrolet Holden, Opel, Vauxhall, these are different business units. And then they have dealership networks, and then they have OnStar, which is also a subsidiary. So all these things are part of the enterprise. So when you put an enterprise system, enterprise software, everybody from here, all the employees here will be using it. So now you can see what is enterprise systems basically or enterprise software so usually enterprise softwares are to the enterprise level and uh, they need to have the knowledge and resources and all that stuff to make sure that it is done in the enterprise these enterprise level solutions will be usually they are large-scale implementations they need a lot of technological expertise to implement properly and also many of these softwares will consist of various modules and these modules are simple like what we are doing here these are simple modules right they'll have different modules and all these different modules can be used uh, to put together so this software is complex and base but the thing the good thing about it is it is going to have all the business processes of the company
So whatever is the business processes of a company, it is going to be in the software. So everybody can use it. That's the whole idea. So let's see some more things, how it provides value to the company. See, basically it increases, it increases operational efficiency of a company. It provides information in to make consistent, better decisions for the managers. It enforces standard practices and data so that everybody does the business the same way. So if I have a company uh, which has got a branch in, um, let's say, Chicago, and then the company has a branch in, let's say, China, both the Chicago company and the Chinese enterprise will have pretty much the same process for, for that particular company, right? So all those processes will be there in the software. So a worker from China or a worker from Chicago will be doing the same things. That's the whole idea of having an enterprise system. So, and also another thing about this is you, the company can respond rapidly to customer requests for information or products. So it minimizes the time to produce the, the and then minimizes the inventory. It uh, procures exactly the right amount. It, uh, it pretty much sends the customers what they really ordered. So all those good things. So it responds rapidly to customer requests for information and products as well. And companies use in enterprise systems to create more disciplined culture, to improve management reporting, to improve decision making. And they usually, the, the enterprise systems provide a single unified technology platform or system and a technology environment. Those are the things about the enterprise system businesses. Okay, so that's all I have for this. So the summary of this whole thing is that enterprise systems are, they, they take the business processes, they give a lot of value to the company, and they provide a lot of value to your company. And anybody who uses it from one location or another location will do the same things. And uh, so it creates a disciplined organizational culture. And then it is also good for management reporting and decision making. And it provides a single unified information technology platform. Okay, so that is the gist of this module.